Welcome star kids and friends. Today's passage is Mark chapter 14 verses 43 to 52. In the previous passage, Jesus and the disciples went to the Mount of Olives. Jesus urged his disciples to keep watch so that he could pray. Jesus knows that his death is near and he submits himself to the Father's plan. He urges the disciples to watch and pray that they would not fall into temptation for Jesus knew what was ahead. But although the, the disciples would desire to be faithful, Jesus knows that they are weak. In today's passage, Jesus is betrayed by Judas and arrested. But before we read that passage, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your sacrifice for us. Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you that it teaches us to know how to love you and to know you. Lord, please guide and teach us today as we read. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, read in your Bible with me, starting in chapter 14, verse 42. Sorry, 43. Just as he was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, appeared. With him was a crowd armed with swords and clubs sent from the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal from them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Rabbi, and kissed him. The men seized Jesus and arrested him. Then one of those standing near drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Am I leading a rebellion, said Jesus? What, that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I was with you, teaching in the temple courts, and you did not arrest me. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. Then Everyone deserted him and fled. A young man wearing nothing but a linen garment was following Jesus, and when they seized him, he fled naked, leaving his garment behind. What is God saying to you today in that passage? Take some time, think about it, maybe read it over again, and then write down what you were learning in your journal. Don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else. 